All right, hey there guys. Um, before I get to the introduction, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know that this is meant to be in parts, but I decided to just bunch them all together and make it into one big thing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is very, very big. This is uh, gonna be a very time-consuming uh, project um, if you plan on pursuing this, but I'm uploading this for all you Xbox people out there, like me, I'm a big fan of the Xbox Minecraft and um, Excuse me, um, I just uploaded this to help you and for all of you people because I have a lot of my friends who don't really know how to build with um, uh, nether quartz and it's one of my favorite materials. It is my favorite material. I love it, how it looks and looks so executive and uh, prestigious and uh, if you want to, big words, mm, I must be good. Alright, yeah, um, anyway, like freaking... It just looks so good and like Roman and stuff like that and you can use so much stuff you can make it use for modern you can make it for medieval and it could fit in with all everything and it looks so grand the purpose of this is not really a uh, tutorial although I probably am gonna put this in the tile title because you can follow it on and you can get a tutorial I follow it exactly that's why it's so long but this is honestly just made to show you how to build with this and in a way work with the land. All the problems that I notice everybody on the Xbox has an issue with. If you want to be good at building on the Xbox, I'm talking to all you Xbox people, you know, you don't really know how to, including myself for a time, don't really know how to work with the land and just like kind of build it out. And it's really not hard as you can tell. There's not a lot that goes into this as you can see how I'm flying around here. Um, I mean, you know, just build patios, build, like, build your uh, house around it and just mold it and build a structure, pillars, and just make it, don't make sure it's not flat. And a lot of the stuff is changing on the house, and I had to stop early, in fact, um, when building the house, but it's just made for the Xbox people, I'm here to let you know, and if you do want to follow it, you can skip through, and the ultimate purpose of this is to get an idea of how to build with this stuff. So, I hope you all enjoy of what this is. Without further ado, let's get to the intro and just enjoy and skip around. Feel free to do what you want and enjoy. Alright, hey there guys, Matt here and what's going on? Squirrels, cucumbers, everybody alike. I'm Saliver10 and uh, hey, so um, my I ended up doing this earlier, but the recording ended up not recording. Somehow my recording grant program messed up, and yeah, all this stuff happened. But anyway, so what I said is, uh, welcome, and you probably don't really know who I am. Um, but what I my name is Matt. Uh, I may have this channel for about nine years, or not nine years. I had this channel for about since 2009, and uh, oh, frame rate lag. Um, yep, so I had this channel for about, uh, since 2009, but I haven't really started uploading until recently, from the, about halfway through the first year of Minecraft Xbox 360 edition, and that got me into loving Minecraft, and I got to really get into it, and, uh, start building, and I love building, and that's why I play, I honestly, like, I know I'm doing this on the PC, but I, I like Xbox more, as you can see, if you go back to all my worlds, it's just Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. Because I just like building, that's really what I like doing on here, and I know it sounds really stupid, but I'm pretty good at building, and I've just been building every time non-stop. I have some really sick Hunger Games maps on the Xbox that I'm hoping to give away for special subscriber marks and special maps. Like, I've been working on a map since the two freaking years Minecraft has been out. It's been absolutely insane. It is humongous. Um... <clears throat> and some of them I worked on by myself, some of them I had to help. Majority, I'm just a tight, like, I'm very, like, uh, a freaking, I don't know, <laughs> really how to make it sound without saying really, like, messed up. But, you know, just, like, I I like to build by myself, and it's really weird, and I, I like having help, but, you know, I'm like a dictator, and I realize how I'm such a dick most of the time, because I'm, like... Hey, can I, they're like, hey, can I join your world? And I was like, yeah, just do that and do this for seven hours. <laughs> but, yeah, so I work hard and try and get that stuff all working out. But anyway, uh, so that's besides the point. And I was like, hey, I love building, so I'm going to start doing this with my channel. And what this is, is this is going to be building tutorials. And so, whoa, here we are, building tutorials. And uh, Minecraft TU14 just came out for the Xbox. So we are going to be doing some Nether Quartz. So if you can already see, your main essentials here is going to be a diamond sword to get all those people out of your way. Mobs are not peaceful, whatever. 
get the sheep out of there. And then you're going to want quartz stairs, pillar quartz block, chisel quartz block, block of quartz, and quartz slab. And uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to start working. Now I realize that whenever I started building, and what I still have an issue with is starting to work with the land, um, I realize that this is still pretty uh, flat, and if you really want to end up working with the land, you'll build it like halfway off a cliff. But uh, really, honestly, if you want to end up doing that, you're going to want to build struts. Just use common sense of what in reality what it would be. Like, it would probably just have like iron struts underneath it and then put iron uh, like semicircles leading down into the rock and work with that. But we're not going to be going too extreme with that yet. If you want tutorials on how to actually build houses on walls and stuff, I can totally help you out. But we're going to be working on building a relatively decent size. Um, uh, ch -ch 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 what's this thing called? Quartz house. So yeah, it's going to be all white for the strictly TU14 special. And uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on get building. Uh, so let's see, what do I want? Um, all right, yeah, we'll go ahead and build this way. Um, now your sizes, this is going to be basically like a guide. I'm really just trying to get people to understand, um, like how to build a house in the sense of making it look good. And if true honesty from building for so long, if you want to get good at building and you want to just have good buildings, it's just trial and error. Um, or even if you're completely good, like some people are, I've tried it and I'm good at drawing, but I can't do it. You can draw like graphs and stuff and use grid systems and blocks. This is just one by one blocks. If you completely graph it out on some programs, you can get some really, really sick designs with, with that are completely flawless because these people like graphed the shit and... <laughs> it's like perfect then. So yeah. Um let's see, we're gonna be going up three. We're gonna go up another. Now, um so I won't really have too much detail because this is gonna be straight on constant going. So basically what we are trying to do is establish a boundary slash foundation and um, we're using these pillar blocks because they really look cool I just like the lines and even because it's um, because it's a foundation you could even be doing it this way in fact which pr probably is your best way to do it my dogs are having to fight outside <laughs> that's fantastic um, but yeah so here we are just deal with that for now so that's our foundation and um, let's continue on. Clearly, it's not going to be all of it. Let's go to three. And we're going to take up the other side, too. Now, what I'm going to be going for here is I'm just going for kind of um, a mod, a not really modern look, stuff that can match the medieval, because Minecraft is made to be medieval, and I honestly don't like building modern stuff. Uh, so, if you guys want to build modern stuff, go move to Hexit and have fun polluting the Minecraft world and live in eternal hellfire. So, have fun doing that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, uh, you definitely want to make sure, though, as you're building, that it fits your specifications, even if you're freestyling. Like, you want to make sure if it's odd or even. Right here, I'm going to be going for probably even. Uh, but if it's odd, I'll make that work. So, let's see. One, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. Even, odd. All right, so it's odd, so that's that's good. We can work with that. So and that's odd. So odd on the length. I should have counted. That would have been a lot easier and not make me look as much of a retard. Because <laughs> I do need to count anyway and figure out how long this is going to be. So uh, what we're going to be going for right here, though, as you can tell, is kind of a a a slant, in a way, round out part that 
basically <laughs> take a one long. Oh, I went one long. My bad. I got an issue. So, uh, I think some of you may even be ahead of me if you're following me exactly, or if you're using guidelines. Um, yeah, that threw me off. Okay, so there's three. There's three. And here's three. There we go. That's much more like it. Um, so our foundation is really trying to get one above the natural land that we want to be and smash everything else. Um, and as you want to extend in whatever you are doing, um, two, three, we're going to go with fours. And the goal of doing this is making sure that it doesn't just jut out full outward or have a diamond look. Because if I see people doing, like you could do that too and get a more round look. But the old, like, you never want to do just straight on ones because then you get the diamond effect. And then it just looks ugly and ugh. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Here's the sheep I was talking about. Get off my lawn, gems. I don't have your damn cookies. Uh, also, sucks that Xbox does not have this. Um, hopefully they get this soon in some sort of command. Uh, Alright. Um, so here we go. We got four. Uh, also, as I don't really... I see a lot of people doing as well as they have issues with um, leaving dirt underneath. If you have dirt showing on your levels or something, then that just looks ugly, and you want to make sure that you cover up all dirt, at least that's on the level. Don't have any same level uh, face dirt, as I like to call it, or a blemish. You want to make sure that you have all that shit face dirt. <laughs> I'm so creative with names, let me tell you. It's pretty damn awesome. Um, so I, I do realize, though, that this isn't going to be very entertaining. This is just trying to inform you and s show you Really, really, just how to freestyle build um, and get to know your materials. So already, I know that these lines. So that's our foundation, and this house is going to be relatively nice. And um, as we have this jutting out, I plan maybe make a giant patio on the outside, do some struts down. It'll it'll be nice, and uh, we'll see how this is going to end up turning out. Um, now here's where we I may. This could go any way, depending on what you want, really. Um, I'll go ahead and go one, one out, and let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and close it up there. So I'll go ahead and give you an aerial view every so often, so you can kind of, if you are following, get a sense. I may do links and the aerial views to kind of help you out and do the, the stuff later. So there we are. There's the basic um, layout. Um, however, we are going to be changing this up. You just want to make sure that you start with something like squares. Then you can add on, like, add balconies. Like, there's going to be probably an oval balcony back, back here. The struts, um, something nice. Maybe a pool or something. We could do like a pool, infinity pool over here, water falling down. Um, pillars on the sides, maybe do some more outward squares. Probably definitely will be doing that. Um, so, you know, I mean, building freestyle is just establishing shapes and adding on to that. So that's really what you want to do. And uh, you want to go ahead and get some ground of what you want to do in detail early on. So let's go ahead and start off. Now it's okay to clear out some land if you have to. Like I was going to probably, what I'm doing here is um, we're doing some corner stairs. There we go. So we got some corner stairs. And uh, what we want to do here is then do a uh, top layer. This, this is a lot easier on the Xbox, but you're going to want to make sure that you flip your, uh, there we go. Like that. And flip. And flip. And flip. So there we go. So we get like some column sense in a way. Um, 
right there so you have a column there and we're gonna go ahead and do the other side because I I personally like I know it's different with a lot of people I am obsessed with symmetry it gets pretty ridiculous <laughs> so and we'll see how that works out no come on All right, there we go. All right, and once we get one down, go ahead and follow it through. All right. All right. Yeah, that was a cut. So sorry about that. Um, I am back anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with the pillars. I noticed I made this one one too long. So here we go. We have five in all and the corner. So four, two on each side. So four and then one in the middle. So there we go. And then double check on that side. So here we go. We have all. We're all good there. And so <laughs> next is uh. You're going to want to go ahead, and you could do, personally, whatever the heck you want. I am going to go ahead and just do something real related to the theme. So I'm going to be doing um, laid down stone. And you could do it if you did the opposite way, like this is the slanted. Then you could do standing up. Um, it really does not matter. It's whatever you want. Here in the corner, you can do that. This one, it doesn't look... Nice, and um, now we're going to go ahead, go all the way around, and level that out until we get here. We'll work on that later, so once we get all this stuff done. So, um, hmm. to expand on this, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all this grass. So we have a nice um, lined up here, and you can even do certain patterns too. Like you can, if you if you're extremely like wanting to go far with this house, go ahead and do your own stuff, and you can figure it out and uh, design it, and you know just work towards it and figure it all out. It'll be great. Um, so next we are probably oops didn't really mean to do that. Place that back down. Go ahead and get some slabs down. Um, and that also opens up another possibility. Um, we could place some slabs, honestly. And this part I will not extend to the other bit. But yeah, so this is basically just blocked. So you can go ahead and just get blocks. Going one more out. Hmm. All right, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and do the extra layers with some stairs. So we're going to go ahead and use some stairs. And yeah, that's a lot better. It's not very extending. I'm just I'm going to try and use diverse and diversity and use some different materials. Now we have the slabs up here. Um hmm. All right. So we have that. We have the corner blocks. We're going to go ahead and bring this up so I can get a sense of that. Um Floor could be any material you want. However, I'm going to go ahead and pick one out. Um, some stuff I understand that you may not have on here, but I'll definitely pick something that we all have. Um, something nice.
You know what? As much as it kind of doesn't fit the theme, I'm really digging some kind of wood in a way, so we'll probably check out some wood. Why not? Um, let's go with jungle. So we're going to go ahead and do jungle on the exterior, on the floor. Um, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and lay that down. Um, for now, we're just, I won't do all of it. I'll just kind of get a bit of a floor down, and we'll see how this is all going to go. Now, if you kind of want to get uh, another sense of my different building styles, you can go ahead and check down, try and locate one of my buildings. Um, my houses that I did, it's not very detailed at all, I mean, because it's already built, but I did my Hexit house for Hexit Online Survival that I did a while back. Um, and that house did end up getting deleted, so that's why I hate building this stuff on online servers, and that's why it's always good to build it on your own server, like an Xbox or so. Hey, look who just crapped out an egg. Hey, there we go. Brand new mothers, alright? Oh, shit. Hey, hey, get the hell off my lawn, you little cretins. Je Jesus. Listen, listen, we're all out of the bird seed, damn it. You ate it all. Damn it. That's what happens when you give them Girl Scout cookies. They always come back. It's like... Oh, Girl Scout cookies. Alright, anyway, so here we go. Um, so we have that. Um, why not do some pillars now? We have that on there. Yeah, let's do some pillars. Why not? Alright, we're going to have three, and then I'm going to do... Probably just gonna do one, one pillars. So, yeah, like that. Or I mean, two, two uh, column two. So we're gonna get that. Take advantage of that right there. So we're gonna put those sticking out. And let's see here. For a middle decoration, we are also gonna be doing some stairs as well. Because I don't like to repeat. So here we go. We can go ahead and follow it up. You can just repeat that pattern all the way around. So we'll get the slabs down. And what we're going to be doing right here. We have double stairs and space here. And then we're going to have the pillars. Which right there. And we're going to be going up. Nice. All right. So to extend, I'm gonna go ahead and get our second layer of the actual wall up. Go ahead and run that quickly across. So already, it, you should just kind of get a sense of your building and what you're going to be doing. And um, here it is. Now, take, take notice that this over here, I know that this looks a little peculiar. And this is just for the time itself. Uh, this, however, is just going to be a column over here. And it may be a jumbo collar or a column for the style itself like right there it has a big old bulge it looks beautiful great um and then we could do another possibly let's see how this looks
Um, I think we may do that. Let's figure out a finishing touch. I didn't really get a good glimpse, but I like to finish the work. Uh, if we just do... Alright, we're going to be doing doubles here, so we're going to go one up again. For certain houses, the other design that I did there could work, but it really depends on your style and material you're using. Even if you are following my material that I am doing here. I mean, you can change up the material, but just know that this is working. This I'm building here with quartz, and uh, there's not many different blocks. In fact, no other blocks you could change up so much except for wooden logs, which would not look ideal for this kind of style. This is very imperial, imperialistic, and uh, kind of Roman in a way with columns, and, and I'm kind of taking inspiration from the White House. I'm probably going to have a big over deck here. Uh, so we'll figure it out as we move, but we definitely want to get a column straight up here. And so here we go, you got your columns, um, and then we're just going to repeat right here. Um, going to take your stairs, going to do double stairs, and do a space here, and get your column down right there, and do a column up. And see, this is in the build stage where you know what you're doing. You you have a groove going, and it's just free flow, fluid, and you can constantly do trial and error, figure out what works for you and what you like the best. Um, so and to figure out what I'm going to be doing for the entire house, I'm going to go ahead and box up this bit here. And we can even see, because there could be, it's probably going to be right here will be, floor change maybe three or four because having I think three or four is an ideal first floor so we'll figure that out put that block there just to remind me and um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look actually we may need to go up one more figure that out Alright, so here we are right here, and um, now this is where you can start ta taking your own type of style. You could do big grand houses, so you could do like windows here, or something like that, which I may do at the same time. Um, we are going to have to acknowledge that would be a bit low. But I may be doing stairs all the way around. In fact, I probably will be doing that. Go ahead and line that up. Yep, so we'll leave that there for beautiful, beautiful um, windows. Let's check that on how some of the stuff may end up looking on the long run. Let's go here. However, you can do stairs or something like that. I personally favor the slabs, so we're probably going to end up doing slabs. Got to keep on doing the time, make sure that it doesn't go dark on me now. Um, yep, so there we go. We're going to have beautiful right here, some archways, and it's going to run right into your grand column on the sides. Um, let's go ahead and clear this out for another window. And, God, 
quit crapping. Where the hell did that come from? Hey, listen here, guys. I had to kill your damn... Oh, shit. I had to kill your family members, okay? Because they were crapping on my lawn. Oh, go to hell. Getting a little sidetracked here, ladies and gentlemen. Killing these damn chickens. Let me tell you, if urban life, trying to build a freaking, like, West Indian trading company <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, uh, yeah, you're gonna have a problem with chickens, and, uh, just like to call, and take this opportunity to tell you to call 1-800-KILL-ME-NOW, uh, uh, that's also extermination business for you, uh, yeah, we can't kill chickens, so it's against the law, but we can kill you, so, uh, yeah, it's totally fine, we're gonna take up that opportunity, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna kill you. It's gonna be great. All right. Uh... Okay. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get the other side in, so on this side isn't left out. Yeah. Okay. Let's go here. So right now everything is just repetitive, so you can go ahead, you may even be ahead of me. So if you are, just sit back, chillax, and enjoy me catching up. So if not, you know, speed your ass up, you're falling behind. Alright, and don't worry, I completely understand if you fall behind. I understand how it's really hard to follow people and even if I just can't slow down, I mean, I, I can really, but there's nothing to really slow down on, to be quite honest. Um, now, I, really quick, I realize that probably the door's going to go there, but being such a grand house, you want to make sure that you have two doors that will be like that. And even if something nice like that, and possibly staircase oh yeah <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and trim down making something even more grand and possibly expand on that we'll figure that out as we go along so from now on just leave that how it is for now and finish this up so gonna have that there okay we're gonna have to build the wall here really quick <clears throat> oh, trees. Yeah, this is honestly a pretty damn awesome place, I'm not gonna lie. Um, probably gonna end up copying paste this. I could even copy and paste this to one of my Xboxes worlds. My Xbox worlds, so we'll see how that ends up working out for me. Um, hopefully I get that working. I'm gonna go ahead and tell some stories, and the issues that I'm having with is actually with, if anybody watches this who knows this guy, which possibly probably do because you're watching this for the xbox version or whatever the hell it is um this uh mod tool by oprah's lp none of his mod tools ever work for me i don't know why i'm more of an analog modder than which analog you know just classic um i do a lot of hex editing by myself finding the hexadecimal and breaking it down which is don't don't get me wrong ten thousand times harder, but it's what I'm left to because nothing works for me, and it's really, really, really annoying, but um, it's just my luck, really. No, no mod tools ever work. It honestly probably is my PC or stuff, um, which is awfully peculiar, and I'm, I realize that, and I'm just like, yeah, there's no way in hell. Why the hell is it just like so difficult for me in my PC? But for some odd reason it is, and I'm just, 
I don't know, like, my problem is, is that it actually worked first of all, like, it, it, um, it loads up a map when you say overworld, and after you load it up on the overworld, I have an issue where it says that the block is, um, t pre tu 12 generated, which it worked the first time, so I know that's a bug itself in the program, because it recognized my, my map early on and realized that it was not TU-12, but it, for some reason it says it's TU-12 now, or pre-TU-12, which is pretty freaking ridiculous because I'm, it's a TU-14 world, or TU-12 map itself, and, uh, and I've generated it up to TU-14, so don't really understand a lot of issues that I have with Overprize's tools. Because I look at all the reviews and everything, and they're just like, Oh, thank you so much, sir, it works. And Oprize, I mean, you know, I've seen your videos, I don't follow any YouTuber. So, you know, but Jesus, dude. Like, freaking, your mod tools, don't know what the hell it is if I'm the odd one out. Do not work shit for me. And it's like, you know, whatever. I'm left to roasting marshmallows and shit, which I don't even know how that's relevant. But, you know, I am end up roasting marshmallows, you know, when life gives you le lemons. Go fucking roast marshmallows. Excuse my language. <laughs> <clears throat> Trying to censor up here, you know. Be family friendly. And uh, I do also apologize for any um, sound you may be getting from this mic. It may be a little weird. Um, but, you know, it's just how things are. Um, on this mic, I'm trying to... This mic is very good, and I spent like seven hours trying to freaking tune it up. And it should, I think, is relatively tuned up. But I have an effect on it where I think it gets a little weird sounding every once in a while. <laughs> so, sorry if you have to deal with that. I truly am. It's gonna be pretty bad, not gonna lie. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here is where we draw the line quite literally with stairs. Um, we're gonna have the floor mark, or at least the outer, outer mark on the building is gonna be marked with upside down stairs, and it's gonna be carried over. Now, right here on the columns, gonna basically do what you did earlier, and just not, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that either. Just place that, god. Xbox made it a lot easier to kind of, er, not Xbox. I really don't know. I mean, they both have their own ways. A PC is easier for PC people, and Xbox is easier for Xbox people. I'm not biased. I think they're both great. But looking at Minecraft, there's just no question. <laughs> well, clearly, because the Xbox is model after PC. And there's no mods. So, you know, modding is my life. I love Steam and uh, Valve and everything. They're the best best game creators, Valve out there, oh my god, Valve, I love you, um, sponsor me, do all that, I will gladly take it, and, um, just know that I play at least 20% of all the games that I own, and I own about 278 games on Steam, it's pretty damn ridiculous, so, <laughs> yeah, I delete a lot of them avidly, though, which is probably not a smart idea, but, you know, it is what it is. Which I really have no idea what I'm talking about. Daily tips from Matt makes no damn sense. So, hope you're all enjoying this commentary slash building session. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But it's A-OK, -okay, A-OK. -okay, let me tell you. <clears throat> so, I also do apologize if my voice starts like fading out. I am a little sick, so it may sound weird in the mic, and plus, after I run it through my editing program, my mic usually downgrades in quality, which is a little frustrating. Thank Camp Stuff for that. Um, <laughs> God, Camp Stuff. You can't make it easy for me, can you? Um, mm, I was wondering what was going on different. Okay, so change that back. So don't worry, I'll notice all my mistakes eventually. Um, I may not always point them out, but, you know, I, I'll find them eventually, you know. Um, 
All right. So here's the thing. Probably gonna enlarge that even further because it's such a pretty massive house. Um, you're gonna want grand doors, and you want them to look absolutely nice. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And here we go. We're gonna. I don't know if I should do that. That should be more on the wall, which I'll find more use for that. This is gonna go out twice. So we're gonna go out twice here. We're gonna go in, in, which honestly we'll go ahead and I'll fix that. Make that like that. All right, and. Then, like I said, you don't want to do that because then you get the diamond effect. So you're going to want to do that, really. And I don't want it to be flat either. So we're going to go ahead and probably, I guess, do the first one right here. Then we're going to go down one. That's all gonna work out. Um, now when you look at it, that's kind of the odd one out. So, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, so once again, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for this, because this is not going to be too instructing, this tutorial here. It's going to be a little weird, and you won't really get to see too much of what I'm exactly doing because it's just a tricky thing to do freestyle freestyle building on Minecraft is my expertise and <laughs> it's really just building but you know you change up you never start you start out with a grid and you work your way and expand on your ideas and just figure out how things are working so already you got this front up house and it's looking pretty grand, pretty nice, kind of like a courthouse in a way. And basically, which is what I want and what I'm going for. And I wanted that. I just, I wanted this. So I'm happy. I'm happy with what I'm getting so far. I have this. And then we have that. And we have nothing else. And we have it on the other side, but you know, whatever. So we'll figure that out. We may even leave these open, you know, because nothing can hop in. Um, it's completely sealed off from the outside, and we may just have actual good old uh, secure style of this. And we may even do that. Let's see how this ends up looking. Okay, um, I honestly, it's not the best, if I'm quite honest, 
Yeah, okay, I was gonna say probably just do one, so if you want to keep it, you can do it, it's just personally not mine. Um, I think, it's honestly not one of my my favorite blocks, um, that one. I mean, this is my favorite quartz, I love quartz, but not my favorite look out of all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that back up. If you want to change them all, then you can change them. You can change it up however you feel like you want. But that's just me and my building style. Alright, so here we go. My mic may have gotten a little bit louder there, so hopefully that'll help us out, or help you out, on how this is going to be working out on this build style tutorial thing. <laughs> build style tutorial thing, you know. It's no big, no big deal. Build style tutorial thing. Alright. Uh, we're going to go with some upside down stairs. Finish that up. Sorry about that, I breathed into the mic there. Or blue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh! Yep, so anyway. Um. I have a English state test tomorrow. I am in the United States. So, yep, I have an English state test tomorrow, which is fantastic, let me tell you. I'm always excited to take an English uh, state test, you know? Am I right, guys? Woo! Alright, yeah. English state test. Bing. Gotta put an applause in there for ya, because English state test, let me tell ya, absolutely need that shit. Which we actually, yeah, we, I guess we do, but you know. You know, I'm uh, 16, don't really give a shit, whatever. But at the same time, I do give a shit. Alright. So... Um, this will definitely change as we go along. <clears throat> God, my sickness, that along, that along just, ugh, God, sound pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna go in here, gonna go over here. Yep, so anyway, um, as I just build, like, you know, just watch me as I go here. I mean, you want to kind of keep it just, um, just into the theme. Don't diverge from the theme. I mean, you could even, like, like I'm saying, it detail and what you do with this is completely up to you. And I'm, if you're really getting into this and you just want to go with your own, like, style, if you're into fire pits or fire lights, Go ahead and throw in some fire pits or fire lights. You know, we'll see how that works out. I'll even definitely be testing some as we go on. But most of the detail where you place the trees or stuff like that will probably in be in the end area of this video. Um, and don't get me wrong, this is definitely going to be a long-ass video. This won't be up for a little while as it'll be uploading for like three nights. <laughs> not three nights, but probably a couple hours, because my download speed is absolute, or my upload speed is absolute shit, so, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how that works out, so, your interior right now, you don't really have too much, you have your front wall, alright, we are back, sorry about that, <clears throat> that was a minor cut, I just took a quick small break, um, <clears throat> god, yeah, I was eating some freaking new type of Cheeto shit, and it's like Tabasco, and yeah, pretty awesome. I honestly love spice. That's the thing you get to know about me, Sriracha, or Sriracha, however the hell you call it, which is Sriracha, so yeah, uh, all the way. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, back to building. So uh, what we are left on right now is this, which, you know, it's very open up right now. I know I just got this. So this is what we have, and I can't really remember where we left off after, or before the break, but I'm just going to continue right here. So, everyone, this is John. Um, he just moved to the neighborhood. 
uh, people always call him anorexic, and I'm like, John, you're not anorexic, you're just, uh, skinny boned. And he's like, no, whatever, I'm gonna go kill everybody. So, John, you know, lay off and have a great time. Alright. Um, so here we go, gonna be building again. Gonna go ahead and pick it up, and we are probably gonna be doing... I don't know, probably, I'm freaking doing it right now. <laughs> here we go. Gonna do a pillar here and a pillar there. And we are gonna put that there. that there and there you go so now it's not as empty as it did look um, however you could even and I may even put pillar there but I don't know because on the door it does look a little peculiar we'll figure that out all I know is I will have to end up doing something here because you may look and it seems rather empty over here so I'll figure it out I may even do possibly an over strut, maybe? Huh. Tricky. It really, it truly is tricky. We'll figure it out. I'll just leave that how it is for now. Um. But yeah. Hey there, Mr. Creeper! Mr. Creeper, Mr. Creeper! <laughs> Alright. Bye, Mr. Creeper. Have a great day. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and basically config finish the outside completely. Um, now, you can honestly skip around in the video if you want, and if you're uh, interested in seeing how this stuff will end up turning out, I'm going to end up just going to try and do this without any major cuts in the parts, with, apart from breaks and such like and stuff like that. I'm going to try and go full on no breaks, no stops, um, or um, without any cuts skipping parts. It's just going to be straight on building. So, uh, we're pretty well into the, the length of this now. I think we're well on an hour. So, <clears throat> we'll see how this ends up turning out. But, we have that going on right now. We finished the front, I'm sure. Yeah. So, the front is basically done. Um, so, we have to finish the sides now. So, we're going to build up the walls. But anyway, so, um, a little bit uh, about myself as we continue on this. If you guys are watching this completely through, I got to congratulate you there, because it's pretty ridiculous, because even parts on end... Mm. I gotta grab a little Cheeto. You know, that's my motto. Just, you know, parts on end, grab Cheeto. It's not even full sentence, you know, just like bored as hell, grab Cheeto. Driving, grab Cheeto. Getting uh, screwed, grab Cheeto. <laughs> so that, that even sounds weird. Alright. Um, oh, don't you dare. Get lost. Get lost. Bad touches one of my blocks, I swear to god. Okay. Um <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the rest of these slabs. <clears throat> Back here is a little tricky. We may have oh, okay, nope. We're all good. Kinda got a little mixed up. Okay. So that goes there. Put the window space. We got oops. Excuse me. 
sorry if that sounds weird on the mic, which I'm sure it does. So, here we go. <clears throat> and don't worry about this, we're probably going to make this um, a rather good looking building. Uh, we're probably going to make this the floor divide because it would look weird if we didn't. So, I mean, you can honestly could get away with it, but I'll see. I, I kind of want this to be an open house, like very expansive and executive. You know, you don't want it to be short of room or feel cramped where you like hit your head on the ceiling. Um, if you're running well on resources, by all means, go ahead and do that and just dwarf down the size of this as it is. Um, and you can honestly get away with doing pretty much anything on here. Um, it's your design, right? <clears throat> well, quite honestly, it's my design, but, uh, you know. <laughs> um, you can clearly just change up it and design it however you want, but template, mine. Don't take it. No, yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really don't care. So, <clears throat> oops, my bad. Um, whatever, don't have anything to really patch it up, so here you go, join egg, I bless you, and here you go, may you live in peace. Alright, um, gonna go ahead and, don't know why I keep on doing that, I'm jumping the gun here, that's an idiom, oh yeah, English all the way, <laughs> okay, um, god, I keep on doing that, I, I know why I'm doing that, it's because, like, last build I built for my friend on the Xbox itself, I put the columns inside the wall itself, so the style was a little weird. I ended up fixing that, but it, I guess it became a habit, because I spent a long time on his house. Um, whenever I build stuff for my friends or people's worlds, I get really involved with it. I always try and make it look like the best house on them. And I'm going to be quite honest, Xbox 360 community, majority of you suck at building, and that's completely fine, because a lot of you are in for the, the, uh, what's it called, the uh, survival aspect. And I get that, because, you know, you can't really do too much on yours with out console commands or mods and stuff, which is totally cool, but I can't really criticize too much, because I started out on the Xbox, and, uh, I don't know. I just I just like drawing and stuff, so maybe that has something to do with me wanting to uh, really get involved with building on this game and just you know I don't yeah whatever okay <laughs> uh, okay we are we may want to do some sort of column back here as well because. It's rather expansive. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I really hope that doesn't... I'm pretty sure that sounds weird, because I, I do a lot of pre-recording. And pre-recording, I test out how everything would sound, make sure the audio quality is good on the mic, and everything. And, uh, yeah, normally, nah. <laughs> Not so good. Um, Alright. Go out one and in one. So that's what we would be going for. We have an issue. If you have an issue, here's a tissue. Jesus. Austin Powers, you bastard. Okay. Oh, it was his dad. It was Austin Powers' dad who said that. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, stop quoting Austin Powers. We're going to get this shit done. So, um, we're going to have a big, big column back here. Um,. Maybe a little too big, quite honestly. I don't know. Uh, it is rather big, if I'm quite honest. <laughs> um, that's it, it honestly is the size of that, if this was a real box. So that's what this is. If it is, I feel like it would be in one more, but I really don't want to make it like too bulky. Um, alright, so we're gonna close 
close this up. There we go. Yep, that that's that's better. Okay. Um, it may get rid of some of the build aspect into in an in an effort to preserve that. We're gonna do straight on stairs probably. There we go. We got a little design going on and we're gonna have stairs. Let me see. I would like to get these corner stairs if I could, but they do not stay. Um hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, I may be able to do that though. Let me, well, I mean, clearly I'm doing it now. <laughs> oh, let's check it out. That does look rather good. Rather good indeed, sir. Alright. that turn yeah it did nice all right so as you get from the back here we kind of change to get in the balcony as this is going to end up looking like so we'll get that in eventually and figure this out um so we go along now do if you if i do get enough views on this and people do like this house I will do a thorough, thorough, like, freaking tutorial on building this. Like, I'll do graphs, grids, and uh, show you the height of everything in columns, and I'll skip around to get this in timely. But that is if people are actively involved and learned, and I do have to get your feedback, so you are going to have to let me know, just like, hey, that was good, so-and-so, could you, I don't know, do this? Instead of saying, hey, listen here, you racist bitch. Um, go eat dick, and, uh, yeah, so, no. <laughs> Alright, um, oh, shit. Hmm. 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 Alright, we're gonna... Make that even... Yeah. All right. So here we go. Um, so far, the 360 view of this. Oh, let me put this in there. There we go. So here we are, the 360 kind of view of what we are going to have so far as the first level. And um, it's rather... Um, big, exotic, really, um, very focused on, not very flat, you, you never want to, if, whenever you build stuff, you want to make sure that it's not very flat, that's always what I strive for, um, that's what I've learned when building, if it's just flat, it's ugly, and, uh, god, it's just ugly, I don't, I just hate building flat buildings, and I understand that, you know, like, if you want to get down to the deprived, and, like, you're starting out in survival, then you gotta build dirt houses, you may even have to tunnel underground, but even when I tunnel underground, you know, I try and organize stuff, or make it the freaking roof all, like, some sort of stone that I collected, like, cobblestone, something decently nice, and, uh, still try and avoid curves, like, place some stairs or something to make it have some sort of dimension, <clears throat> something nice, um, but yeah, I mean, I get, I get a lot of stuff, and understand how some stuff may be a little difficult to do in survival, you know, so, understandable, understandable. Now, uh, if you are going to be building this in survival, you know, uh, good luck to you, sir, because, Jesus, um, I did it, I did it in survival, the one that I built for my friend was in survival, and, uh, his was a lot smaller, I'm going to be honest. I'm stretching it here, kind of get uh, detail in. 
make sure that I really get to acknowledge the beauty of where this guy's living. He's going to have a beautiful exotic deck down here, like it's going to go extending over here, and you're going to have here. He's going to be able to go fishing. It's going to be beautiful. Um, this is going to be the layout of the house, quite honestly, so here we are. Um, probably will be adding windows just because, um, so nothing really hops in, so we go to glass. Um, you also do have stained glass. Um, you don't have it in the Xbox, yes, so therefore I will be using just pain glass to help you guys out. And quite honestly, <laughs> glass, I mean stained glass. I have purple windows, guys, purple windows. So it's always good to have purple windows. <clears throat> it's a boost of confidence. Confidence, confidence, yeah. <laughs> God, I hate... Ugh, being sick, sinuses, it screws up how I say stuff. Conk. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, probably gonna add some pillars definitely on the inside too, because that's what a lot of people forget. Even I forgot on a lot of my building <coughs> sessions here, is, um, you realize that, um, whenever you go inside and you have all these extravagant pillars, you're probably gonna have to do the same thing on the inside and uh, put some sort of the pillars on the inside and just expand. So, um, uh, let's see here. I may probably end up just be doing a one story uh, to shorten this up and I'll make it a nice one story and I'll show you how you can kind of do a roof design because you definitely want, don't want to be doing a standard roof design where it's just a point. The hell was that? It looks like friggin' star thing, that Pokemon that's a star. Yep, that's what it looked like. All right. <clears throat> so, here we go. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to be doing this right. Um, one, two, three, and all the way around there. Okay. Nice. Okay, so um, what we are going for here is, yep, that's that, and then that goes in like that, and then this goes in like this, and um, one of it should protrude to meet the second layer of the first one. Yes, there we go. Alright, so uh, that's what we are going to be doing, and then we are going to... Go ahead and fix this up. All right, another um, intermediate pause there. Um, here we are back on the pillars. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and just gonna make sure. Yeah, okay, I was right. However. This bottom one right here is okay. There we go. Beautiful. And it matches with this row, which is right there. Awesome. All right, we are doing this correct, I presume. Yep, I presume. Yep, I'm right. I hope. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Do to do, do somewhere under the sea. I don't even know. All right. <laughs> Burial at sea for uh, Bioshock. That DLC came out. Or part two. I haven't played it. I really gotta play that because I freaking love Bioshock. I love Bioshock. Um, so yeah. Really gotta play that. Um, do do do. I'm 
to go ahead and expand that for here. Yeah, that's why I left that there. I may be doing like a pillar. I'm going to leave that like that. <coughs> Can't forget the small bits of detail. Like that. Here we go. Alright, so here is the house so far, 360. Uh, and it's looking quite spiffy. And it's pretty funny how these houses turn out, because you could honestly make each side kind of like a house. Because if you look on this side, it has more of a white house shape, because the white house protrudes out, and it's not very flat. And this one's more flat, but it has the executive opening. But here we're going to be expanding, because it's more, it's meant to be more round, because we're going to be doing this right here, where we're going to be taking, whoops find out. We are actually going to be using these for once, and it's going to be like that. Probably even bigger too. Yeah, so I can... go over, up, yeah, that's relatively good, um, not really as large as I expected, I don't know, like, Hmm. I don't want to have it protrude too much at the same time. That's why I brought three down to two. I will expand it one more. So if you guys are following me here, two, three... do one and then one two so one two see and then you get it, the diamond effect damn it I'll see because there's a way you can kind of balance it out and I understand how it is going to protrude out a little bit more if you want it to be more oval shaped so there's a way of saving but I'm telling you that diamond effect or defect uh, effect is um it's really annoying. Um, check this out. That's a lot better. It's a lot weirder, but it's a lot more round, oval shape. Um, we could even protrude out further, but that's good enough for now, and we'll see how this is going to go. Um, in fact, that's how I'll leave it, and you could decide what you want to end up changing for you, yourself, so... I'll leave for the viewer to decide. So if you want to have it more round, all you have to do is just take this right here, the essential pieces. My dogs are barking. Shut up. Um, it's just like right here, you're going to want to expand maybe by two out and then follow this exactly again. But expand right here, make this two. 
So, right here. And then to follow this. So, yeah. I apologize if you can hear my dogs. Um, I am in a room that's secluded from the rest of my house with my surround sound and everything in it. It's, but it's not very soundproof. It's soundproof on the outside. On the inside, however, no. <laughs> so, yeah. See, miss. Hey there, Mr. Creeper. Yeah, alright, Mr. Creeper's trying to climb back up here. Guy kicked him out of the house, like, last week. Just told him, hey there, Mr. Creeper, you know, lay off. Get off my turf. And Mr. Creeper, he's just like, nah, bro, nah. I'm just like, yo, Mr. Creeper, Mr. Creeper, uh, why are you being such an ass? And Mr. Creeper is just like, nah, man, bro, I'm done. I'm done. Forget this shit. He just walked out on me, and I was just like, yo, Mr. Creeper, what the heck, man? And Mr. Creeper is just like, no, I'm not even having this. And he left. It's just like, yeah, whatever, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. Alright. So, here we go. You're gonna want to... Have... Feet... For the one, depending on where you build this, I understand that uh, wherever you build is going to be completely different from where I'm building. So you know, just uh, fix everything to what you have to. Really, um, one thing I also like to do if I get these legs right here is I like to make a foundation. Um, not really big, clearly, uh, but something to show that it's there. So, nothing big, just something to show it's there. Like that. Something like that. So, there is our little balcony that we have here. As you can see, it's protruding from the house as we have the basic, basic exterior complete. So we're going to go ahead and just survey the area really quick. And here you go. That is your basic exterior outline for the house. Um, just really quick, gonna double check that. Was I double spaced over here? I was. Alright, so I combated that with an extra stair. Okay, hold up. Okay. Alright, I see what I, the problem here. So, one, two, three. Four, five, there we go. So we go. Now yeah, it matches. Alright, once again, sorry about that brief intermission there, or that cut. Um, so we're going to be continuing here. And uh, basically, what we need to do right here is um, place down right here, just diagonal. And I continue with some slabs. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that on both sides. Sorry if I was a little quiet there. <laughs> that was really weird. I realized I was talking extremely quiet. Okay, so what you're gonna Yeah. So <clears throat> so just make sure you have your slabs on both sides and depending on wherever you have that you can do like your stairs, everything. So match up everything. I'll just do a little brief survey. Pause on the parts you need to really take a look at. 
and just know that this right here is upstairs, normal stairs, upside down stairs. It begins on normal stairs, upside down stairs, normal stairs, upside down stairs, normal stairs, upside down stairs. And then these are slabs that placed in different orientations, and these are double uh, normal stairs. And yeah, so that's basically all you need to know for your ba uh, uh, basically main interior or exterior, main exterior, and your balcony is like so, depending on how big you want to have it. Um, and the balcony really does depend on the person itself and how you like your stuff looking. Um, now the balcony is very tricky on how you would want or what materials you would want. I personally, since I've already got glass, I'm not going to just only do that. So I'm going to end up taking some glass here. And I'll show you how to counter these ugly like pieces here. Is um, You can do multiple things like that. I tend to just do that. So when you place one under in the corners and that. So when it doesn't just float there, it actually looks like it's merged or built into the material. So therefore, it actually makes the corners look rather good. That's what I do in my Hunger Games whenever I have pins or something and I'm trying to keep the players from jumping out. I do fences, and I do the same with fences. It works all the way around, and you can do that. And even if later, I may even uh, hook in some pieces of stuff to um, really uh, oops, um, put some lights back here or something. Something pretty nice. Okay, so um, next we are going to go ahead and continue here. So why not just finish up the entire wall back here and... Uh, We'll figure it out from there. So just follow the pattern here, which there's a pretty big difference, so you can easily follow. And just match up. We're going uh, four high, and then the fifth high is going to be the upside down stairs. So four high with normal quartz block or slabs, depending on what you have in survival, or if you want to do all this on survival. If you are doing this on, on the, bleh, if you are doing this on survival upload a clip or just let me know because that is truly amazing and if I knew you were being truthful I would honestly freaking give you I would send you a free like whatever you need I will send you freaking whatever you have PlayStation I may I will be doing some giveaways as well so you can go ahead and stay subscribed for that and uh, giveaways will be coming and uh, I already want to do some I wanted to do some for the Elder Scrolls Online beta and I also had some uh, weird beta keys that I got from this one place, and apparently they gave you the Imperial Edition during the beta, and it was pretty awesome, so you got to mess around with a lot of the extensions, and uh, I didn't use one, because mine was actually official from the application, and uh, my friend ended up getting a, uh, one of the ones that I handed down from that website. Alright, I am back again. Uh, so many cuts, so little time, let me tell you. I'm serious, uh, what it is, is I have, uh, recording plays, and I always have intermissions, or, I mean, some, not intermissions, interferences, and they always interfere with my, uh, <coughs> recording. <coughs> God, my voice is going out, and I have a test tomorrow, it's gonna be fantastic. Alright, um, so, back here, we probably are gonna end up doing something different. We're going to take the stairs as we have right here, so depending on what you have or your location, you can do stairs. And if it's you don't have any grass back here, you can just break this or something or whatever you have relative to your position. You can do just the stairs. Like I said, I'll just cover that up because I'm too lazy. So, yeah, and there you go. And so there are the stairs, and then we're going to go ahead and take this and do these fancy blocks because why not? And... Uh, Yep, so we're going to take this again, let's see, there we go, go under, and there you go, and there's that fancy stuff that you can do depending on what you get around, like you can mess around with a lot of this stuff, and I'm just showing you the basic layout make sure that you don't have grass showing up <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me for that um 
Yep, so make sure you don't have grass showing around there for the the thing. So right after here, uh, just end up cutting out for that. Um, you can honestly carry over this, and um, but there really is no good position to do pillars. You can probably do small pillars in here, which we may do, but that really does depend on progress. So we're going to have to see, wait and see. So clearly we will also be changing this and the position and some of these. So this is just to speed things up. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably cut the video a little bit short to kind of help all of you who are on a time schedule as has this is going on a long time because I need to get this done tonight. Um, but I'm not going to cut back on detail wise like I'm probably just gonna cut back on the interior I'm not really gonna do the interior I'll show probably a preferred layout which is anyway what I planned on doing like I'll, I won't probably I'll level it out and I'll keep the grass in but I'll show you where you can probably place some rooms and if you plan on placing the se second story I probably will even continue this we'll figure it out as we go and move on but that is until that time, you know, so we'll find out and we'll see. So, <clears throat> okay, and here is the back, which is looking rather extravagant now. <clears throat> so, there you go. Um, Probably gonna want to do some double window, uh, double doors, and let's see. Yeah. All right. So I understand that this is a very small patio, and that's why I'm saying that you're probably going to want to expand, but you, you're going to have to have some pillars or something back here because not having certain pillars. I am toning it down. I'm making it like very small, so there's going to be very small pillars, and uh, let's see. We're probably going to do just one small pillar right here, and uh, just to blend in with the overall theme, you know, because you don't just want to go non-pillar on the entire thing now that we're back here so I'm gonna raise up some one by one pillars so it should be like that and you should have one two I noticed I have an issue over here so get rid of that <clears throat> alright so there you go and um, that's that's pretty good alright um, so we're gonna extend over here do that this And we are back. Holy bedingle dogs. Alright, sorry about that issue. I didn't have that before. This place is just crawling with bugs. <clears throat> um, so, let's see. I'll figure out what to do exactly here. Here we are going to end up probably doing something special. Because the way this is this is looking, um, it, present us, it presents us an opportunity to. So we'll see. Um... So continue basically with what we were doing before and just get the upside down stairs all the way around. <clears throat> Hey, my clock went off. Clock. My clock went off. So, if you could hear that, 
There you go, now you know what my clock sounds like. It's like a rooster. I don't even know. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, so here we go. And you can even end up, if you have a second story here, that's what I'm thinking of. Sorry about that, if my mic was a little quiet. If you have a second story, um, you could do even a second balcony right here. And that's pretty dang awesome, I'm not going to lie. So, <clears throat> what we're going to go ahead and do now, though, because that's later. So, we're, got to, we're going to upside down stair, upside down stair, and take a solid block here, and do upside down stair. <coughs> Excuse me. And do that over there. And there we are. There is your Minecraft outside and inside house. Um, this does re leave room for clear improvement, though. There's, especially on this back, um, how you could add some more pillars, add some columns. Because, see, it's looking awful bare back here. So, like we did these right here, probably encourage you to do some more like you could do a pillar right here and a pillar right here um it really depends on your personal taste um i do apologize though how i'm gonna have to cut this short um but this is basically your layout for a house if you do want to see more then i will gladly continue this i'm not the world's not going anywhere so just let me know how the feedback is if you like this and i could get freaking super speedy if i just get like 20 uh, likes up on this video or something it's that good um which honestly isn't a lot of likes at all so just to let know if people watch this then for sure i'll continue this so i hope you all enjoyed if you did hit that like button rate comment subscribe and squirrels and comers everybody like i'm Slaver 10 and i will see you all in the future thank you all for watching if you did enjoy and i hope you all enjoyed this long ass video yeah all right bye everyone oh all right. Oh, 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 oh,